Hold on to your pants, folks. I'm about to drop a bomb on you. Are you ready? It's about Dia. I think she's gonna be fine. And not like amazing, but like fine. And I've said this before about units like Kokomi, Raiden, Nilu, and uh, I think my channel doesn't have that many views, but the views I do have is mostly from saying units I say are going to be good end up being good, even when people say they'll be bad. And I don't want to mean like, oh, the community is always wrong and they'll be wrong again. Like every time there's different reasons why they're wrong. And there's, you know, unique reasons worth talking about why the community is wrong again. Um, and I'll go through them and uh, it should be fine. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the most obvious thing first. And that's uh, how you use uh, Dia and uh, how everyone's got it wrong. The first problem is people are talking about her damage and uh, don't, because it doesn't matter. When you have her as a C0, use her as an E-Bot for her utility. What you want is to use her for poise. You see I'm using Melt Ganyu here. This is a good example of a team that uses everything that Dia provides. Pyro application with Burn, by the way, you're going to want to use Burn. This I'm just showing here. Uh, the reason why a current melt gown you sucks, and that's because Shangling is cringe. <laughs> she takes way too much energy and funneling. Uh, and and Dea, you just uh, you just drop her E. You get the unconditional poise. You get the mitigation. You're running Bennett anyway, and it's good and it's fine. It's not like amazing, but it's fine. Okay. So next, another like fragile hyper carry. Okay, we got Wander. Especially if you use a charge attacks, Toma doesn't work. You want to use a shield or whatever. You need the poise. Uh, look, it's fine. She slots in. You want to use Bennett anyway, so you got your healer. Bennett doesn't give you poise. You'll get knocked around. You'll see I get thrown around here like a little ragdoll. That's a DPS loss. I can dodge, but if I don't have my passive up, that's a DPS loss. So what we're looking at here is Dea is providing something that Bennett is lacking, right? And uh, you can throw in a shield, you can dodge, you can do whatever, but the point is she's providing this use case where without energy, just low effort, you throw down the E, you can have a shield, you don't get staggered, she can run tenacity or whatever, you don't burst on her, it's just easy peasy, lemon squeezy, that's it. <laughs> End of story. You can slide her into like, a team that doesn't care about a healer. Now, let me get this straight. Like, Zhongli is a better fit here, but you can throw her in this team with double Hydra Hu Tao. There's enough mitigation. You got Hu Tao's self-healing. And it's like, fine. Now, she's a standard unit, and Zhongli is an Archon that you have to pull unlimited. So you have to ask yourself, is like Zhongli's Resistance Shred worth like the extra damage to pull for her? And that's up to you, but like, she's fine. You can slide her in here. So basically, any fragile hyper carry that either once been it already, uh, or, you know, doesn't otherwise really care that much about, like, a healer, and you need a little bit more mitigation, uh, then she is fine. Just throw her E down. That's it. N nothing else. Uh, then, I've seen people shit on <laughs> Virgin, but, like, okay, hang on. You see here, I mostly have Hydra Aura, and then I throw down Dendro, and if it's either Na like, uh, Nahida or DMC, or in this case, Yao Yao, like, it's just, it's proccing every... 2.5 seconds anyway so right like toma hitting them once a second isn't actually getting me more seeds so it's like fine if you're running a hydro on field it's fine run em on her throw her e down it's off field pyro without energy it's great uh and then lastly there's like burning now this is a team where you actually could burst with her uh and i want to just talk a little bit more in depth about burning in general uh so burning has quadratic scaling most of your team's damage will come from grouping enemies, especially with an animal unit, getting the reaction damage. And because there's not much else to do in these teams, you may as well burst with Dea, right? Dia, look, whatever, I'll go back and forth, right? The damage is fine. On single target, it's worse than like the Mono Pyro Shang Ling team uh, that people kind of throw around as being the reason why uh, Dea is so bad. But in, in mob scenarios, you're going to have a higher ceiling if you can group up enemies. And it's just a little bit less cope, right? You have a reason to be using Dea because of the mitigation. Uh, burning damage, as you probably know, 
uh, hurts a lot. Uh, damage reduction from Cho and Beto don't work. It'll eat through shields, including Toma's. So with a healer and Dea's uh, damage mitigation, you get more survivability from burn. Now you can just be careful like I'm doing here, uh, but if you actually end up like bursting with her or getting close in melee range, like Bennett alone will really struggle to keep up. And you'll see that here, I am just, just dying. <laughs> this is only one target and it does stack up that if there were two targets within my range, I would be dying twice as fast. So that's it, okay, C0, just use her as an E-bot. Her burst is there if you want it. Some teams it fits, most teams it doesn't. It's like, fine, it's not revolutionary, she's a standard unit. Now, I wanna spend <laughs> a little bit more time talking about, and by the way, you can leave now if, if you don't like co-op, but I'm about to get into it. I'm gonna talk about co-op. And that's actually really what I'm most interested in about uh, Dea, because I actually, love co-op uh so yeah let's talk about it so in co-op enemies have more attack and in co-op uh you know like you don't have a lot of the defensive options you don't have the Sincho, so you don't have your beto you don't have like that many shielding options right you have uh diona Layla, c2 zhongli which is that's constellation territory uh, and Diona and Layla's shields uh, are weaker in co-op. Shorter duration for Diona and weaker, and Layla's is 35%. Like, it's just, like, not much. And you see even here, like, I can't stop a one-shot uh, on that on that unit there. People die all the time, and people don't have poise, right? And so now we're looking at Dea as a co-op tank. Uh, yeah, folks, this is going to rule. Uh, let me address some, I think, like common misconceptions, which translates to co-op and, and some and somewhat to like solo play too. So one would be like, isn't the, like she's just gonna die in co-op? So generally speaking, you still want to run a healer. You'll see that most of these deaths. This is by the way, the next few minutes. Basically, the rest of the whole video is just gonna be clips of people dying in co-op, basically. But uh, people die with a healer, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but you want to bring a healer, Dea can help a lot, right? Like doubles the, the HP of your on-field unit. She won't die because she has a self-heal of 50% of her HP. You kind of want to be aiming at like double the average unit's HP, right? And then you'll, you'll be fine. Because generally what would happen is they would die before you die. And if they didn't bring a healer, then that's on them. And you can kind of just keep cruising along. Okay, so like, like she doesn't replace the healer in solo play. She doesn't replace the healer in co-op. Now you could if you already like don't run a healer, then everyone just gets an extra health bar. Cool, makes the NRE like better, neat. Uh, but yeah, she has a lot of utility in, in that co-op. Also solves a lot of her problems, like her energy, like she catches all her particles on field. Uh, like what are you actually doing is, is using her burst on cooldown. You're actually using her mitigation when the, the damage is, is kind of ticking. Uh, you don't have like sub DPS, so the fact that she can't trigger all these units uh, is kind of irrelevant. So to me, like she almost seems designed for co-op, basically a perfect co-op unit. And uh, and yeah, so I guess like in in, in summary, uh, let me let me run through the use cases for Dea while you watch people die on the, on the screen here. So again, it's C0. What you're mostly gonna want to do is just use her E. You want to pair with Bennett, ideally, in a, like a fragile, hyper carry type situation, especially ones that want pyro. Like the main one really is like melt, burn, gone you. Um, but right, like it works for Wanderer, it works for Hu Tao. You could probably slide her in with Yoi Mia, uh, and they're fine. Uh, an EM Virgin bot is also fine. You can add in an Electro. Uh, if you want to mix, you can just use more Hydro on field to get the Hydro damage and then use her EM. That's also fine. It's like not anything new or insane, but it doesn't require energy, which means you can build more EM than like your Toma can, etc. Again, still want to run a healer. Uh, and then burning teams are teams where you're largely just using your Animo grouping, 
getting some burn going, and there is time to burst there. There's not much else going on, and so she can burst. And burn teams are super cool. They look awesome. They're deadly in co-op. Half these S seem to be from burn. It rules. Uh, it's way better than you think it is. I think most people think burn sucks, and it just doesn't. It is awesome, <laughs> especially on mob floors. Um, yeah. So that's your that's your kind of use case at C zero. Then you got your co-op fans. I know there's like one per, the, the one percent of us. We should be ecstatic, right? We got a way more exciting C two Zhongli. Not quite as defensive, but then her constellations are really offensive, uh, which is I think a good uh, point I should mention here. So another unit that is similar is Kokomi, right? And I know that this is going to come up. But Dea's got a crit rate sword and her constellations are all for her damage or whatever. Okay, the moon glow is for Kokomi on field. All of Kokomi's constellations are for Kokomi, like Kokomi on field. And yet, even at C6, Kokomi's best team is Ayaka Freeze or whatever, right? Like, that's not up for debate. But you can still use her. And the fact that there's a a defensive unit with constellations that give her the damage of a DPS at C6 is like obviously like very luxury <laughs> but like it's not a bad thing. Zhang Li's defensive cons mean that like they're useless, right? Like he doesn't get more damage. So if you want constellations and you want to run the co-op tank space, like get C2 Zhang Li. Like he'll always dominate, but uh but she'll be more fun basically and do more damage. So that's 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 pretty much it. Uh, look, I don't think you should pull for her if you don't either run Melt Gun, you don't want to run Burn teams, uh, don't really like use Burgeon and like want an easier option that like doesn't require energy. Like, if you don't have those use cases, I look, you can run that Mono Pyro Comp or whatever. It just isn't very good. In the same way that running Zhang Li with a you know, Crescent Pike is like not very good. You know what I mean? You can do it, but like that's not what he's for. And this should be clear when you see she has an HP Ascension that doesn't add much to her damage, right? That both of her passives are defensive, right? That she self heals. Like her kit is defensive at C0 and her constellations add more damage, right? Like don't force it. And, and be like honest with yourself about whether or not you need a defensive option, okay? Uh, and right now, you might not. Like, th the thing is, your shielders, especially Zhang Li, can tank most damage. Now, if you experienced his shield breaking on Abyss 12 2, well, look, we got more of those enemies coming, okay? Primordial Beasts. We got a Dendro one coming. We got a Archdeacon leaked that's got like four elements. Uh, we got, you know, a Cryo Mage that's going to melt on you. We got a Geo guy that's going to slam you. And so, I don't know. We got a tank now. I think she's fine. I'm, I'm going to pull for her. I don't know. Good luck. Bye. <laughs>